Hey there, party people. Welcome to MDR, where we dish out the freshest takes on your favorite Mzansi shows. Today, we are diving headfirst into the whirlwind that was Monday's episode of Uzalo. Get ready to be entertained, folks. I'll try twice. I'll try twice to know me. Cast is dwelling now. Now, top boss. Chopper, I'm a bad guy. I'm a ball. I'll try twice. I see. Namaste. Guess no point. I'm born in your. Fafazwa is with Lotando, Ninja Bull. I'm banning him a car. Namaste. First up, we've got Shaman Matha, the guy with the talent for tall tales. His web of lies has spun so wide that he's practically got his own fan club now. You know you've made it big when you're strolling down the street and there's a parade of people following you, hoping for blessings. Shaman Batha is turning the township into one big blessing buffet. Let's hope he doesn't start charging a fee. Now, let's talk about Captain Monley's consent crusade. He volunteered to educate some teenagers about the importance of consent during their educational talk at Trailblazer. Everything was going smoothly until he remembered the incident with his son's phone that sent his emotions into overdrive. He lost his cool faster than a melting ice cream cone on a hot summer day. I guess he's giving a new meaning to losing your train of thought. And speaking of emotional roller coasters, Lelo's conversation with Sippo took an unexpected turn. As they chatted about growing up without his mother, it suddenly hit Lelo like a ton of bricks that maybe, just maybe, it's time to reunite with her long lost son. Looks like our drama meter just went from soap opera to a family reunion special. Get the tissues ready. That's a wrap for Monday's episode of Uzalo, folks. Stay tuned for more outrageous lies, parental meltdowns, and heartwarming reunions that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> Malinda. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>